with Matt and with Gina. And, you know, Matt, this is interesting to me. In a state in which the motto is live free or die, where hunting is very much part of the culture, she's trying to push gun control. Uh, she's struggled in New Hampshire. Bernie Sanders has done pretty well there. Is she going to have any success with that? And if so, why? Well, I think in the Democratic Party, a majority of people are for the measures that she's asking for. And a majority of the American people are for better background checks and a couple of things that Hillary has suggested. So I think in New Hampshire, she's probably going to be pretty okay. I wasn't able to get on before, Trish, but let me just say on the Ben Carson Trump thing, mm -hmm. Carson, there's no question that Carson has some momentum right now. Trump really isn't losing a lot of support. It's the other people losing support. But Carson does have the momentum. So I just wanted to get that in as well. Yeah, no, he definitely has momentum. I want to get back to Hillary, though, and gun control, because this is this is interesting to me, Gina, that she's taking on this issue. Uh, you do, however, in a state like New Hampshire, which she wants to win, you have a lot of people that have moved from Massachusetts. It's estimated that, do we have the numbers on these guys? Is it 80,000? Over 80,000 Democrats uh, have moved into the state in the last five years. You have a lot of people migrating north because of the, the better tax situation in New Hampshire from Massachusetts. Um, and so as a result, you have a state that's shaping up to be more and more blue, or you could call it kind of purple. I mean, a state that historically had been pretty red. Is this going to resonate, this anti-gun message? Is this going to be what actually mobilizes her, her base? You're shaking your head no, Matt. Gina? It's not anti-gun. I think I think that she's trying really hard just to be whatever it is that will get her elected. But let's not forget, in the last election when she was running against Barack Obama, she was bragging about how strong she was on the gun mm -hmm. issue and how she would stand firm on it. So much so that Barack Obama himself labeled her an Annie Oakley wannabe. So this woman who's just willing to flip flop as the wind blows, if her do voters you, ever catch on to this fact, it could mean big trouble for do, her. Do we have do we have some sound from her in? In the uh, past campaign we do we're gonna run it for you this is her campaigning against Barack Obama listen to what she has to say in New Hampshire on guns I support the Second Amendment I don't want your guns I've hunted I mean my father taught me how to shoot you know and uh, I went duck hunting in Arkansas I shot and I shot a banded duck and uh, they were as surprised as I was uh, <laughs> so I have great respect for you know gun owners a little bit of a different tone than we're hearing right now. You know, now, Matt, she, she's talking about going after the manufacturers uh, of guns. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of people have equated this uh, to an, an analogy somewhat like this. If I were in a car accident, um, I could go after General Motors, uh, who made my car, as opposed to taking responsibility for myself, you know, maybe just being a bad driver and getting in well, an accident. Trish, um, and that would effectively cripple the gun industry, which is what she would like to do. You picked a good one with General Motors. Um, that, that's a good choice. You know, Hillary, we've seen what's happened in the last few years with all of these mass murders. It would be crazy to not evolve on this issue at all and to not change your opinion at all on this issue. I think most of America... So what does evolve mean in your view? In what is she trying years? to get done? Because people again. worry... I, I'm curious what you, what you mean by evolve. She has talked about Australia, for example, as being a good example of what we could potentially do here in this country. Barack right. Obama has I, said I exactly the no same. What thinks, does evolve mean in your view? Yeah. No one, think, no one thinks that we're going to be able to do what Australia does. There are more guns in America than there are people in America. We're not going to be able to do what Australia does. What we should do is have better And I should remind our viewers, get, to just Matt, let me get everybody check, caught up. Australia actually confiscated guns. They had a buyback program. Right. They, they insisted that, on obviously. taking everyone's guns. And interestingly, right. they have three and a half million guns today in Australia, the exact same amount they had when they started the confiscation program back in the 90s. Go ahead, Matt. But I think we would all agree that the way that things are now isn't working. So there should be some ideas on how to make the system work better so that people yeah, how about, who should not how about have guns Matt, don't have guns. I how, think we agree with that. How about, how about evolving to eliminating gun-free zones that are virtual target practice for anyone who wants to I don't think commit that they're a gun virtual crime? Target I mean, that's practice. evolving. I think that's That's ridiculous. doing something intelligent no, using data. I don't think data. that's evolving. Yeah, it, you actually, know, you, it you isn't. Could also data talk does about not show that that's a good idea. By making sure we have better mental health programs because that really is at the root of all of this. Gina, Matthew, thank you so much. I'm going to no, talk to you guys. In a Thanks. bit, Thank we you, have Trish. more on Hillary.